welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited that you're here. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all, Love & Hip Hop is back with another special. It's called Lineage to Legacy. And in the house today to talk about it is rapper Papoose. Y'all, you know him and him and Remy Ma, they are the cutest couple to me. Anyway, we're gonna talk about this special. It airs tonight, February 7th, and then again on Monday, February 14th at nine o'clock on VH1. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss today's show. Welcome to Check the Rhymes, Papoose, how are you? Great, and yourself? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Excited to be chatting with you today. So love and hip hop lineage to legacy. Tell me about it. What what are, what can we expect on this two part special? Oh man, um, you can expect a very life changing experience. Myself and so many um other great cast members were able to do DNA testing and find out exactly where we're from back in Africa. And when I tell you some of the reactions and some of the knowledge you're going to get from watching this show, it's going to be amazing. Wow. So y'all, did y'all actually get to go to Africa for filming? Not yet. Okay. We did the DNA testing, like I said, and the mm -hmm. results came back. We did it like a, maybe a year ago to test it. Okay. Okay. Now that the results are in, you know, we have very knowledgeable individuals on the show who are actually from the motherland and, you know, know, know each and every one of our true background of our, of our ancestors, educating them mm. on, hey, this is where you're from, this is your tribe, this is what they're into, you understand? Right, right. It's just a unique experience for us to find out where we're from because our ancestors, our ancestors were actually kidnapped and brought here against their will mm -hmm. very, you know, very, very, very long ago. And a lot of us, we don't really know where we're from. You know, so That's to true. do the DNA testing and have it documented on television, it's just an amazing experience. So what do you say to those people that, um, and I just did a, an, an interview about a slavery documentary about the untold story, but what do you say to those people that are kind of like, we've heard enough about like, um, you know, the past and the, the history of, of slavery and all that stuff, because it's to me, it's interesting to know where you, you have to know where you came from but what are your thoughts on that? My thoughts are, um, you know, if you look at, if you look at people from different, other different walks of life, and other different um, backgrounds, they're able to, you know, if you go into Crown Heights, Brooklyn, New York, you go into the Jewish community, there's so many different businesses flourishing and they're all supporting each other. You go mm -hmm. into Chinatown in, in Manhattan, same thing. So many different businesses and they're, they're supporting each other and they all know their history they all know where they come from so this plays a major part in us being able to work together and build together knowing our true history and knowing okay my people this the, the tribe that i come from they were into art you know they were very good at creating sculptures or different things of the, different things of that nature and mm -hmm. i feel like we were robbed we were robbed of that opportunity due to the fact of what happened to us. So when you try to ignore it and erase it, if you don't know where you're from, you don't know where you're going. You know, like oh, I said yeah. earlier, if you look at people from other different walks of life, they know their history. So they're able to have things passed down from generations and use it, you know what I mean? And be good mm -hmm. at what, what their people and what their ancestors were great at. But we were robbed of that. So that's why we, we kind of, you know, lost in that aspect. Gotcha. Absolutely. And so one of the other things I, I've noticed during Black History Month, I mean, we are only seven days into Black History Month and people on social media are cutting up, like just rewriting history um, with putting things out there that aren't true because they haven't done their research. So um, when you, do you ever come across stuff like that and want to correct people or how do you even handle it if you see if you see that? I know that for me, I've been correcting people all morning. So <laughs> how do you handle that? <laughs> Oh, man, um, you know, it's all about sometimes you got to take the time out to read a good book, you know, or, mm -hmm. um, you know, even if it's if not something you do on, on a constant basis, take advantage of Black History Month where there's so much different literature and so much promotion about black history, you know, 
Mm-hmm. A lot of people like to complain, hey, it's the shortest month of the year. But me personally, knowing that it was first Black History Day, then it turned into Black History Week, and now we have a full month, I'd rather just take advantage of that and use it to the best of my ability, use it as an opportunity to teach the children. It's not mm-hmm. just mommy or daddy preaching to them. They see it on social media. They see it when they're watching television. They see it so much in entertainment. You know, it's a, it's a perfect opportunity to, to teach the children. Absolutely. So what has been your favorite thing about this experience aside from learning where you're from? Is there anything else that kind of stood out to you? One of the things that, that stood out to me within, within this experience was um, actually learning more about my people. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like, I feel like if you look at us as a people, you know, living in, in America and, you know, European countries, we suffer from diabetes. We suffer from different illnesses. But I feel like we don't eat proper. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's a lot of the foods that we eat. Unfortunately, they aren't good for us for us as a people. Right. Learning where I'm from, you get to find out some of the different recipes and some of the different remedies they use, you know, when they become sick and ill. That will probably work for us better than what is fed to us and forced to us in America with this fast food and all these different things. You learn what your true your ancestors used. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just so many things I feel like I'm learning about myself by learning mm-hmm. that, you know, how the people you know, who um who my ancestors truly came originated from. Wow, I love this. I love this. Now you're making me want to go find out where who my people are, where I came from. <laughs> So I also have to tell you, please tell Remy Ma, I have loved watching her on Wendy, the Wendy Williams show. Like, I hope she's coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's on there today. You need to tune in. Oh, okay. Yeah, it comes on, I think, in a, in a little bit. So I'll definitely tune in. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah she's, there. she's there for like the next oh. couple days, I think. Oh, yay, yay. (laughs) All right. Well, Love and Hip Hop Lineage to Legacy airs on Monday tonight and next Monday on February 14th at 9 o'clock on VH1. Thank you, Papoos, for talking to me about the show. I'm super excited to see it. All right. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.